What are some of your marketing tactics? Like, you know, as a brand, I know you're doing the fashion shows, but you start doing the kickbacks and other things. So what, what kind of marketing, what, what were your marketing ideas to kind of help your brand grow? Uh, I mean, of course, I just enjoy doing what I love to do. That was my marketing thing. Do what you love, you know, love what you do. And I enjoy being around music, you know. Uh, I love being around people who's dope. That's who inspires me. You know, so being, having my legs kicking or having my Taco Tuesday every Tuesday, it helps me, it helps fuel my passion. You know, you say what helps you being around dope people help me fuel and continue to keep going. So I just feel like, shoot, being around dope people, it's kind of, you know, my marketing skill, but it, it not, now, it, now it goes a little bit further than that. Drop my sneakers. <laughs> This sneaker, he said, I was gonna showcase it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did this sneaker for this, um, for my friend, Sierra Janae. She's an artist out here in LA. I moved to LA. So oh, you in LA? Now. I didn't know you moved to LA. Yeah. I did not know you were down in LA now. I thought you were still here in the Bay. Now I'm in LA. I've been in LA for about a month. Two. Oh, are you liking it? Are you enjoying it down? Are you enjoying it? So yeah, far. I mean, of course, I'm always back and forth because my best friends live out here. But it's different when you had to move, Yeah, you know, because, you know, my stuff, my spot was out that way. So, you know, moving to LA was just, you know, and still trying to be focused and create. It's just a lot, you yeah, know, it's so lot. it's like, it's I'm, <laughs> it's so I'm still trying to, you know, unwind and unpack and get back to my creative state of mind. Because I'm like, you know, that move to it's draining. Yeah, it's draining. Show. Yeah, I trust me. You know, I moved from Atlanta. I moved from Atlanta out here, so it, it, I know how it is when you pick up and move, and you try to get into a new spot. You're trying to settle in, get your new routes, and get your new, you know, routine. It just take a little while, mm -hmm. but you eventually about about four to six months, you kind of start settling in. <laughs> Not four to six months, Nitty. Don't say I'm, that. I'm, man, it take a little while, man. I'm telling you, it takes a while because you gotta to get. Six yeah, because you gotta get that routine down. You gotta get unboxed. You gotta, you know, make. Man, I had stuff I'm in the garage for. I had stuff. Man. I had stuff in the garage for the longest. I was like, you know, sometimes you like, man, I don't know where this at, and then you just buy it. You just buy another one because you don't feel like mm -hmm. looking for it. And then eventually you go through some random box one day, and it's like, oh, that's what that thing was I was looking for. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it just take a little while. But once you kind of get some, that, when, when about four to six months, when you start really getting settled in. You're gonna start feeling like at home because you know for a first couple of months you just like you just like you don't know where you don't know where to go. You're trying to find new restaurants. You know you're excited, but then sometimes that excitement kind of start wearing off a little bit, and you know it starts settling in. But it's gonna be I, I'm, I'm I'm happy for you. Congratulations for you know making that move. Because some people never, because some people never really make that that leap. You know some people talk about the journey and some people talk about moving, but they never make that leap and they kind of hold them yeah. back. Yeah, you know if I was in the Bay, I'd be at Trap Art. I, I know, I haven't seen you. you. I just thought you were laying low. I thought you were laying low, getting, you know what I'm saying, getting some new gear together, yeah, getting some new things together, because you know, I, I haven't step, seen you. I step out for me and then Jesse, you know. Yeah. Period. But yeah, I knew. I yeah, haven't I seen you. I knew I haven't seen you. I was like, she must be laying low trying to get her no, get a new collection together, so she's going to pop out with a new collection. But I, but this, this actually is a... Uh, uh, even better thing that I think because you actually moved to something now, now, now you're down, you kick down with Meshi, you kind of, you guys can get together, get some content yeah, yeah. together, you guys. I got a, I, I have a whole, you know, idea of what you guys are going to be doing, and, and I can feel like <laughs> you guys are going to be creating so much content down that it's going to be insane. Yeah, now, yeah, Meshi, he's being comfortable too. His, uh, little, his space is dope, like, especially his uh, studio space, that his little man cave that he created. Yeah, I was like, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be, oh, you it's, know, gonna, like, it's, it's gonna be dope, dope. man. I, and I look forward to seeing what you guys are gonna create, especially talking about your commercial, with your music, you know, some more collections. Yeah. I'm gonna get down there. We had to get down there, come even shoot something with you guys. You know, what I mean, I, I love, I love, I love LA. You know, I love coming down. I love the vibes at LA, especially in the summertime. I love them summertime vibes in LA. So, man, you can definitely, yeah. you know, lock me in. I'll be down there at some point, <laughs> trying to get in, trying to, trying to lock in with you guys. So, enjoy. That what you're doing, man. I'm proud of you. I'm so happy for you. You know, you've been doing some amazing things. You know, you said you said uh, you, you blazed a trail here in the Bay Area. You put your foot down, and people know what the sneakerhead brand is. And I look forward to you, you know, creating some more dope stuff, man. So, I just want you to kind of like, you know, tell us something about you that, you know, that kind of got you 